and uh, I'm here in my car and what I wanted to show you is how to initiate a program band scan on the ASU FT-857. Now I've had this radio for about, well a little more, well about a year and a half now and before that I had the FT-897 which I had in my vehicle for a while but I got a smaller car and you really need the uh, you really need the uh, detachable face in a smaller car. There's nowhere to mount with all the safety stuff and the, you know, uh, with all the safety stuff in uh, cars now. You really, uh, there's no room for a radio to mount it under the dash. You can see. There, there's no, no place to mount it. I don't know if you could see that if there was enough light under there, but... So uh, the answer that radio manufacturers have come up with is detachable face. Uh, detachable face radios. And the FD-857 is one of those. So what we're going to do is uh, you can program, you can scan... Uh, you can scan all the bands if you want. The default kind of default setting is to uh, scan all the bands if you push the scan button but or if you set it up to scan but what I wanted to do was just scan the portion of the 40 meter amateur band for which I have phone privileges now I'm a general class operator so that means a, a 7 dot 175 megahertz to 7 dot three zero zero megahertz so uh, now I've entered the you have first thing you have to do is enter the start and stop frequencies and that I've done already you can find that in the the owner's manual I won't show you that here I'll show you that on a different on another uh, on another video I'll probably show that but what I want to do is just show how to initiate and uh, to, to initiate a memory program scan uh, band scan okay so we'll start out you can see the radio is in uh, it's on the orange display so what we've got to do if we want to initiate a scan is Uh, if and the memories are already programmed in now I've only programmed in one set of m memories so I won't have to choose which set of memories to use I mean which set of band limits to use is an upper and a lower you have to set an upper and a lower for a band scan program band scan and as I say I've already set those but uh, I've only set one set I think there are five you can pick up to uh, five sets of upper and lower band limits to set. So you can program uh, the memory will hold that much, those many, <laughs> those many uh, sets of memory channels. So, okay, without further ado, here's the, uh, here's the radio and uh, I'm going to, now, right now I'm set on, right now I'm set on, uh, uh, I'm set on uh, memory channels. You see, I have it set to the uh, Wilderness Protocol channel, 146.520. I'm going to switch to VFO mode. So you, to do that, you push the, VF, the VM button. That's this one here. Push that. Now I'm on. 7 megahertz. I just happen to have it set there. You can go up or down as you want, but it won't matter because the next thing I want to do is get to the program memory scan. And that's one of the multifunction uh, these buttons uh, control the multifunction menu. And to get to the multifunction menu oops, to get to the multifunction menu you have to uh, 
uh, bring up the multi-function menu. And with that, what you do is the function button is here where my little finger is. The function button is here. And just give that a momentary press. That brings up the multi-function. Now, I want to look for program memory storage, which is abbreviated PMS. I'm not sure which. Oh, you got to press it again. Because you got to do this right away. Multi-function spot, meter. We're looking for PMS. There it is, PMS. Okay, and then we push that button. Now it comes up PMS1. Now that, that's the lower channel that I set, PMS1. You see it's 7.175, which is, as I said, that's the lower limit for phone, in the phone band for a general class operator. Now all I do is to... Uh, the easiest way to do it, you can do it from the memory system, but the easiest way to do it is from the microphone. Now, I've got the DTMF microphone, but you can do it from the m microphone that comes with it, which does not have all this. It's just a simple, it has, uh, I think it has three buttons on the top, and they control the scan. So all you do, if you want to go up, so you want to scan upwards, and then have it cycle back around, uh, just push and hold the up button on the microphone. And you see there it is, it started scanning. 180, 181, 182, 183, 184. And we'll let it go because I want you to see the whole thing. And this will, I mean, you can be driving down the road. I do this a lot. Oops. Oh, I hit something wrong. Sorry. I switched it off, but it's easy enough to switch it back on. Right, if you hit the if you hit the uh, push to talk switch on the mic, that shuts off the scan. So we're coming up on 211, 212. We're coming up, we're looking for 7.3000, which it'll come up to pretty soon. But what I do a lot of times, I'll just sit in the car, I'll be driving along, and I'll leave it in PMS mode, scanning the band to see if it picks up any activity. And then when I stop, or if I hear something I want to listen to, I'll, uh, you know, I'll stop and look for it again on the band and listen. And then I can make a call if I want, if it's a net or someone calling CQ, I can make a call. So here we are at scanning. It's coming up on uh, 50. And what you'll see, what we're waiting to see is, we're just waiting to see that the it goes back around and starts at 7.175 again. Goes up to 7.300, then comes back around and starts at 7.175 again. That's all there is to it. You can hear there's not much going on in the band today. Uh, you can have it. You can have the squelch set. I usually leave it on RF, though I don't use the squelch on HF because a lot of times there's a very weak signal which will not break the squelch. Squelch I usually use on VHF for a repeater. It's very easy to tell. A repeater is pretty powerful, so it's easy for it to break the squelch. But a weak signal on 40 meters. Now here it comes. See that? It went from 729999. You didn't see the 7300, but it went back around to 7.175. And the scan has started again. Now to stop it, all you do is hit the push to talk switch. Or you can, uh, alternatively, we'll start it up again. You can hit the, the you can hit just touch the up button or the down button. I think if you hit the down button, it starts going the other way. Now it stops. But we can scan down too if you want. Here it goes back down on that. So you just use the down button. Just use the down button on the mic right here. Okay, that's it. That's program memory scan. So, happy scanning from Ken. I hope you liked the video. Bye for now.